Austin Kiesig. I am Senior Director of Revenue Operations at Deal. Deal is uh, one of the fastest growing software companies in history. We're five years old. Uh, we have nearly 4,000 employees and several hundred million dollars of revenue growing fast. Our onboarding experience with Deal Hub has been exemplary. When we chose Deal Hub, a big part of the reason was when we did due diligence on the customer success team, the capabilities, spoke to reference customers who had implemented Deal Hub before. The things that resonated with us were speed. Uh, our company culture is very much about speed. That's a big part of why we're one of the fastest growing SaaS companies in history. So we knew we could take a Deal Hub uh, implementation that uh, uh, maybe with another vendor could take six to 12 months and squeeze it into three to four. We actually invited them to challenge us on where we could avoid mistakes. Uh, and that's uh, certainly borne out in our actual experience. So we valued, valued that expertise. And then I think the actual way the software is built was a big differentiator for us. Uh, we didn't want software that required us to get into the guts of our Salesforce instance and write a whole bunch of custom Apex code. The Deal Hub solutions we deployed were CPQ Deal Room, uh, inclusive of eSignature. Uh, so we have a, a proprietary billing engine built into our product. What we really needed was uh, the whole front end of quote to cash, reimagined and redelivered for our sales reps and our customers. And uh, the feedback from sales has been extremely enthusiastic in terms of how they build a quote, how they get approvals, and ultimately what they put in front of customer for review and signature. I promised our sales organization that they would be able to do simple deals, end to end quote creation through customer signature in 10 minutes at the low end. And we've delivered on that promise. I think the speediest a rep could have done it in the past was maybe a full business day. Uh, and then for our average deal, which may not be as simple, I think we've probably cut down on processing time by something like 80%. I think the advantage of Deal Hub is that if we change our mind on how we want to run the business, we can self-administer those changes with business administrators rather than technical administrators and make changes in a matter of minutes that cascade out to our global sales team. So that ability to iterate and self-serve on the admin uh, has been extremely valuable for my deal desk team. Some of the capabilities that have made a big difference to us, uh, one, the UI for the reps, the user experience, I think is uh, very intuitive. Uh, you know, of the platforms you looked at, Deal Hub clearly puts a premium on the rep experience uh, and navigability, ease of use, that is critical for our reps because to go from an offline process to one where they're uh, adjacent to the CRM, in the CRM, and looking for ease, looking for uh, workflows that don't beg more questions than they answer uh, was really critical for them. So I think to see uh, the Deal Hub was extremely well rated for rep user experience, to have reps and sales leaders internally uh, some who hadn't even used Deal Hub, but had heard about it in the industry and knew that it was a great rep experience. To provide that endorsement without even being direct users themselves was huge. Um, the ease of workflow approvals was also a huge differentiator for us. So for people in sales management to be able to quickly and intuitively review a proposed quote and understand the fundamentals of the deal, the economics of the deal, and integrate with Slack. We're a very heavy Slack user uh, and quickly get the right information and uh, either approve or request more information was another big differentiator. Um, and then finally, being able to put a very professional and customizable quote and the customer experience in front of prospects using Deal Room. I think it was another huge win for our sales organization. So the concept of guided selling embedded in Deal Hub was actually a capability we knew would improve the way our reps sold. Uh, not just you know, help us adapt what we'd already done, it would actually force us to add new capabilities. And what I mean by this is we're an incredibly fast growing organization. And the way our reps navigated individual opportunities with seven different products they could sell. I call it a choose your own adventure challenge. 
there was very little repetition in the way they might think about and construct uh, a quote uh, and think about commercial terms and give gets. With DealHub, we were able to architect for the first time within Salesforce a really nicely guided flow through commercial considerations, through guardrails, through give gets. And I think that's been revolutionary in terms of helping train the average seller as they use the software, rather than relying on offline enablement and then hoping that they follow those same uh, footsteps when they're actually in a live deal. The way we used our sales organization to drive adoption here, we had a, an executive sales champion who was very much a part of the due diligence and procurement process uh, where we decided upon DealHub as the vendor of choice for us. Uh, we knew that his buy-in being an experienced enterprise seller who had used advanced CPQ instances before, we knew that buy-in would be critical. We'd actually have those reps come up uh, in the enablement sessions and talk about their experience building quotes, sending them out for signature, and what a revolutionary change it was. So to have those reps drop that soundbite of what used to take hours or days now takes minutes was great for us to be able to generate buy-in and enthusiasm, and we did the full global launch. DealHub fits quite prominently in our plans to scale deal. Uh, we've taken the percentage of our deals that we require to flow through DealHub quoting uh, and driven it close to 100% in just a few short weeks of being live. Uh, we started with committed deals. We still do some pay-as-you-go deals. We now have them running through that engine uh, because we've made CPQ the gateway to uploading all commercial terms into our billing engine. Uh, so reps know that every deal now flows through DealHub. And then increasingly we wanna use the data coming back out from DealHub on the way we're doing business. Average discount levels per rep and manager, uh, different bundles, uh, win rates associated with different deal constructs to put more guardrails within the deal hub platform on what type of deals are self-serve approval versus require approvals, um, and to give reps more autonomy where it's appropriate and to constrain their autonomy, making sure that we had a clear compliant chain of custody from uh, initial quote approved all the way through billing and invoicing and commercial data residing in our billing platform is really important to us, particularly as we entertain plans to potentially go public in the future. So DealHub has actually become a critical link in that quote to cash value chain and making sure we're running our business compliantly and taking care of uh, our customers end to end sales process and billing experience in a responsible way. DealHub is a really critical part of our strategic go-to-market planning and execution going forward because as we evolve from selling a few point solutions uh, to our global customers for their hiring needs to selling an entire platform with six, seven, eight solutions they can use in tandem, the way we think about bundling products, uh, discounting, special incentives for customers to grow on the platform with us, to have a CPQ and quoting engine that the business can quickly modify and adapt and try things and get quick data feedback loops on what may be working and what terms are landing wins versus not. That can create uh, rapid visibility for approvers on the attributes of the deal they care about. Uh, it's right at the center of everything we want to iterate on in our go-to-market strategy and execution. So having a platform that couldn't do even one piece of that would be a huge liability for us. At every step when we laid out to the DealHub team how quickly we wanted to move, what our business requirements were, how critical the success was, uh, the team responded with, great, we, we could probably even go a little bit faster on that thing you know, than, than you initially thought. But at the same time, letting us know when it was healthy to slow down and do thorough QA and get it right before a full launch. So I think that balance between we can move as fast as you guys need to go, but we also wanna help you do this the right way was really unique among the vendors we talked to and has played out uh, exactly as we had hoped in, in reality. Um, so I think from the, uh, like the cultural and speed uh, nexus, like that, was, that was huge for us.